As we prepare for Lausanne 3, to be held in Cape Town in October 2010, to commemorate the World Missionary Conference held in Edinburgh in 1910, in many ways we find ourselves in a new situation. On the one hand, we are facing new challenges. For example, there is the specter of global warming, which adds new urgency to our evangelism. And then there is the HIV AIDS pandemic, which is probably more serious than most leaders are prepared to concede. And then there is a growing hostility to the gospel in many parts of the world, together with the persecution which accompanies it. New challenges. On the other hand, there are new reasons for confidence. First, there is the new alignment with the extraordinary growth of the church in the global south. Secondly, there are the new technologies facilitating new means of communicating the gospel. Thirdly, there is the new unity in the gospel. The fatal flaw at Edinburgh 1910 was the deliberate decision to exclude doctrinal questions from the agenda since it was thought impossible to achieve unity. But at Cape Town we will already be agreed about the gospel based on the Lausanne Covenant as affirmed and elaborated in the Manila Manifesto. Fourthly, there is the new leadership. As we saw at the Young Leaders Conferences in Singapore, 1987, and Malaysia, 2006, God has been raising up a remarkable new leadership, gifted and committed, who are already in place in preparation for Lausanne 3. They have my full confidence. At the same time as we share these confidences, we also reaffirm that our ultimate confidence is in God himself, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, whose gospel it is that we are seeking to proclaim.